Hey, what are you doing, Maria? This wasn't planned. Look, even the staff are confused. It's fine. We're the stars of today, right? We can do whatever we want. This doesn't feel like the Maria we met before. Everyone, are you listening? Pay close attention, especially those who work at Antonio's company. Hey, hey, you've had a bit too much to drink. From today, I'm the CEO's wife. So everyone who works for my husband essentially works for me too. So, from now on, you all will serve under me. Wait, what? Under you? What does she mean by that? Especially you, Lisa. Just because you're my sister-in-law doesn't mean I'll go easy on you. Be ready. Uh... Ready for what? Got it? From now on, expect to be put to work a lot. Everyone, be prepared, there won't be much time for breaks. My name is Lisa. I'm a working mother, employed at a certain company. I live peacefully with my husband, Noah, who works at the same company. On this day... Lisa, it looks like I'm almost done with the cleaning. How's it going on your end? Yeah, I'm just about done with the laundry too. Great. It looks like we'll finish up all the chores early. Once we're done, let's relax with some coffee time. Sounds good. Should I start boiling some water? No need, I'll handle that. Thanks, Noah. To show my gratitude, I'll hang your underwear in the sunniest spot. You don't have to show it off that much. Hey, I'm not doing it to tease you. Right. Man, you had me scared for a moment there. We always divided the household chores like this, maintaining a strong marital relationship. One day, I received a phone call. Hey, Lisa, is now a good time to talk? Big brother? What's up? It's rare for you to call. Yeah, I thought about telling you in person, but I wanted to share the news right away. What is it? Did something big happen? Wait, could it be? Remember I told you about the girlfriend I've been seeing? Well, we've decided to get married. That's wonderful. Congratulations, big brother. Thanks, Lisa. I'm finally getting married. After we visit her parents, I'll bring her to meet you too. Hope that's okay. Of course. We're looking forward to meeting you too. I got news from my brother Antonio, who also works at the same company, that he was getting married. Noah and I were excited and looking forward to meeting his fiance. On the day of the meeting. Let me introduce you. This is Maria, my soon-to-be wife. I'm Maria, nice to meet you. I'm hoping to build a strong relationship with Antonio. I'm looking forward to getting to know you both. I'm Lisa, Antonio's little sister. Congratulations on your engagement. I'm Lisa's husband, Noah. Nice to meet you, Maria. I've known Antonio for a long time, so I might be informal when talking with him, but we hope to become close as families. Got it, yeah. It'd be great if the four of us can have fun together from now on. So, Maria, we're looking forward to spending time with you in the future. Yes, I'd love to get along with both of you too. Let's make good memories together. Since we had lost our parents at an early age, the family meeting was just between me, Noah, Antonio, and Maria. While Maria seemed to have a strong personality, the meeting concluded smoothly and without any issues. Months passed, and today is Antonio and Maria's wedding. The ceremony went off without a hitch and as we transitioned to the reception. Nice to meet you all, I'm Antonio's younger sister, Lisa. I'm Lisa's husband, Noah. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you for the kind introduction. I'm Maria's mother, Cecilia. And I'm her father, Giovanni. It's nice to finally meet you both. We're delighted to meet you both as well. Maria, you look stunning in your dress. Absolutely. Antonio's quite lucky to have her as his wife. Hugh, thank you both. Antonio looked very handsome too. Seeing my daughter in all her glory today has made me so happy. From now on, we're all family. So let's look out for each other. These are Maria's parents, Cecilia and Giovanni. Both are incredibly kind-hearted, and I was glad we got the chance to meet them. As we returned to our seats after greeting them, Maria suddenly stood up to give a speech. Attention everyone, the bride is about to speak. Ah, uh, a speech at this time. Hey, what are you doing, Maria? This wasn't planned. Look, even the staff are confused. It's fine. We're the stars of today, right? We can do whatever we want. This doesn't feel like the Maria we met before. Everyone, are you listening? Pay close attention, 
especially those who work at Antonio's company. Hey, hey, you've had a bit too much to drink. From today, I'm the CEO's wife. So everyone who works for my husband essentially works for me too. So, from now on, you all will serve under me. Wait, what? Under you? What does she mean by that? Especially you, Lisa. Just because you're my sister-in-law doesn't mean I'll go easy on you. Be ready. Uh... Ready for what? Got it? From now on, expect to be put to work a lot. Everyone, be prepared, there won't be much time for breaks. When Maria suddenly said something like that, the whole venue went silent for a moment. Uh... Wait, I can't hold it in any longer. Bahaka, come on Lisa, don't laugh, it's rude. Bahaka. Stop, don't make me laugh so much. Hey, you two over there. What are you laughing at? Which part of what I just said is funny? Oops dot sorry, but everything you said is just silly. Haha, yeah, Maria, you have a huge misconception. What? Misconception? Which part of what I said is mistaken? Stop laughing and tell me what you're talking about. Okay, okay, deep breath. Maria, you aren't the CEO's wife. What? Why not? Antonio is the CEO, so I'd naturally be the CEO's wife. So, you're laughing because you didn't know this basic fact? No, that's not it. Antonio isn't the CEO. He's the executive director. What nonsense are you saying? Antonio is the CEO. No, I'm not the CEO. I'm the executive director. Actually, I want to know, why did you think I was the CEO? Because everyone was calling you CEO. Well, I can see how you'd get confused. Haha, uh -huh. that's just a nickname for Antonio. He has a more CEO-like presence than the actual CEO, so everyone jokingly calls him that. I even get teased at bars. Bartenders would treat me differently because of that nickname. It's embarrassing. I've told them to stop, but basically, I'm not the CEO. Wah! Why does Antonio have such a confusing nickname? Also, if Antonio isn't the CEO, then who is? Is the real CEO not CEO-like, so I got confused and ended up embarrassed? Maria, realizing that Antonio wasn't the CEO, began angrily demanding to know who was. The employees around them subtly looked in my direction. Yes, I'm the CEO. What? That can't be. Someone young like you can't be the CEO. No, you don't get it. Lisa's creative thinking sets her apart from regular business people. The company Antonio works at, Kyosoki, was built from the ground up by Lisa. It's like a startup, right? And Antonio and I play supportive roles to Lisa. Exactly. Everyone is drawn to Lisa because she's kind-hearted yet strict. Thanks you too. It's embarrassing when you put it that way. And my role is to fend off those who approach Lisa with ill intentions. And Antonio's role is to intimidate those people by acting more CEO-like than the real CEO. Hey Noah, don't make it sound like I don't do anything. I'll spill the beans about how I gushed about Lisa's charm to a business partner. Wait, you've basically already told everyone. Noah, as your wife, should I be happy, or as the CEO, should I be mad? The deal went through smoothly, so as a CEO, you should be happy, right? Hey, why are you guys having so much fun chatting? You're excluding everyone else. It's so creepy. Acting all CEO-like and then not being one? This is like a scam. It's not a scam. You just misunderstood on your own. You could have just asked Antonio for clarification before making that speech. Right? I never said I was the CEO. You've been so angry about not being the CEO's wife, but if you truly love my brother, his position shouldn't matter, right? When I voiced my confusion about Maria's fixation on Antonio not being the president. It's obvious. I married him thinking I'd become the wife of a company president. Everyone says he's like a president, but he's just a hog acting all high and mighty. There's no way I could genuinely fall for such a guy. Well, what do you mean, hog? That's an insult to pigs. Antonio, that kinda sounds like you're admitting to being less than a pig. I love pigs, especially pork belly when it comes to barbecue. By the love, do you mean as a dish? That's why I call you a hog. Think about how I feel, always having to deal with scenes you cause at barbecue places. Tell me, aside from the money, what's the benefit of marrying someone like that? Gold digger much? Aren't you embarrassed saying that out loud? Her blatant selfishness is refreshing in a way. 
A marriage without affection won't last long, you know. Shut up. I love Antonio when he's a rich company president. I don't know what dreams you have about marriage, but it's a sort of curse. Being with someone for life, through sickness and health, there have to be some benefits to it. If you think that love lasts forever, you're terribly mistaken. Enough of this. The problem is you've never sincerely connected with another person. If you sincerely engage with someone, you naturally find their good points. Marrying out of convenience without doing that, such a thing will inevitably fail. Don't shamelessly whine and make a scene. I can't help it. I got married to become a company president's wife. My biggest life decision was trampled on. I was deceived. It's natural for me to become a bit hysterical. Why are you so fixated on the title of president? Being a senior executive is still a remarkable position. And there's no way someone like you could support a company president. Know your place. Company presidents are very busy. Supporting one is quite a challenge. Yes, Noah's always helping me. I'm constantly leaning on him. What's with all of you? I'm saying I wanted to face that challenge. Don't lecture or flaunt your relationships in front of me who can't experience that. What value is there in Antonio if he's not a company president? Despite the advice from her parents, Maria continues to be selfish. Finally, Antonio. Hey, enough. Shut up. I'm divorcing you. That's settled. Wait a second. This is a big problem. Yes, I was annoyed you weren't the president, but we don't have to divorce over that. Uh, why are you acting so high and mighty? I'm not so foolish to marry someone just because they're after my money. Antonio, I'm so sorry for what our daughter has said. I don't recall raising her to be like this. Truly, I apologize. Why are you apologizing? It sounds like I'm the bad one here. Understand this, I'm not divorcing you. And by the way, this is our wedding reception, right? This isn't the time for such discussions. You dragged everyone into this, so I have to show them the ending. Besides, it's a good chance for everyone to see your true colors. Probably no one will come close to you after this. If Maria hadn't given that speech, none of this would have happened. From the start, that speech was rude to the guests who came to celebrate. You're all so cruel. You're trying to isolate me, aren't you? None of you have a heart. No matter what, Maria continues to think only of herself. Noah intervenes. Come on, are you really the one to say that? You've been with him for his money, and you've even cheated. I don't want to hear about having a heart from someone like you. Wait, what? She cheated? What? She's been cheating. First the money, now a man. You're the worst kind of daughter. Honestly, I thought about keeping quiet until the middle of the reception. But since it looks like the wedding is off, there's no reason to keep it hidden. Hold on! If you're trying to defame me with baseless accusations, I'll sue you. It's in your best interest to not spread lies. Don't worry, I have evidence. Antonio, take a look at these photos. Well, she's playing the pocky game with this guy in public. So embarrassing. I'm mortified just looking at it. Look here, in this picture she's arm in arm with a man heading to a hotel district. Maria, what's the meaning of this? And no, um, I just have friends like that. It's just a casual thing. It's not cheating or anything like that. Stop lying so blatantly. You've got to be kidding me. Our divorce is final, and I'll demand alimony, so brace yourself. We're cutting ties with you as well. You have no home to return to. Don't show your face again. After being exposed for having an affair and facing divorce from Antonio and disinheritance from her parents, Maria pleaded. Wait, just wait a moment. Everyone, please, don't talk about divorce or cutting ties. I just had a few drinks and got carried away, that's all. We don't have to sever ties just because of a momentary mistake. For a momentary mistake, several months of an affair seems pretty lengthy. When I had it investigated, it turned out you've been seeing this guy for quite some time. I was really shocked when I found out. I thought about telling my brother immediately. But I held back, thinking that if you two were happy. No, it's not like that. It was, you know, what they call wedding jitters. The overwhelming feeling of becoming a CEO's wife took over me. 
But now it's different since I found out Antonio isn't a CEO. I'll apologize for this. So, please reconsider the divorce. You really only think about yourself, don't you? Who was the one just now saying that I have no value if I'm not a CEO? Wedding jitters, do you think I'd be fooled by such a blatant lie? By the way, wedding jitters don't usually last for months. No, it's not like that. I just said it in a simple way. I've been feeling down for a while. You seem pretty lively in these photos, though. I'm tired of your excuses. Just leave, you have no place here. And not at our home either. Don't even think about coming here. Security, this is the one. Wait, this isn't over. Please, listen to me. Thus, Maria was escorted away by security. Afterward, Antonio and Maria divorced. Antonio demanded that Maria pay the full cost of the wedding and compensation for emotional distress. Dejected Maria accepted this, going into debt to make the payment. She began working to repay her debts, but the amount was substantial, making it impossible for her to live decently. She tried to seek help from her parents, but not only were they unwilling to listen, they even called the police on her. Abandoned by everyone, Maria was left to live a very poor life, working tirelessly every day. And as for us. So, with that said, I think this should be our next strategy. What do you think? As always, brilliant thinking. I'm on board with it. But what does the CEO think? Well, that's the idea, Mr. CEO. Hey you two, stop calling me CEO right to my face. If I don't, how can I call my own brother the CEO? You don't need to, since Lisa is the CEO. But Mr. CEO, you say that? But what does the CEO think? Stop it, I can't even follow what you're saying. Since then, we return to our busy lives. Every day is a whirlwind, but we love what we do and always work with a sense of joy. That day, the three of us were in a management meeting. Being founding members, we tend to joke around when it's just us three. Using these playful moments as fuel for tomorrow, we decided to give our best for another day. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more great content. Just click on the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. See you in the next one.